We're here with another Doge House Reviews. Josh, what do we got now? We have Samuel Smith Organic Chocolate Stout from Tadcaster UK. This is a very old brewery, or using an, a, a recipe from a you know beer from quite a long time ago. It's organic, it's 5% ABV, tastes like chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> We've been trying to get this for a long time. So, yeah. This, this is a recent arrival here. We've been looking forward to this one. Let's just get right to it. And I will say I've never been disappointed in one of these guys' beers. I don't know if I've had one of these guys' beers. Maybe not. It's good, though. This is actually one of the... the their oatmeal stout was the beer that got me into craft beer. So, I always have fond memories of these guys. Look at that. That is pitch black. That does look nice. Pitch black, tan head. What do you expect from a good stout? And it smells like chocolate. Yes, they actually use organic cocoa in this. Oh, man, that smells delicious. I mean, overall, oh my god, it's a great. I remember this being. It smells is, like it smells like hot cocoa. That is the most chocolatey beer I've ever had. The most chocolatey. Yeah, that's quite something. I mean, we've had. It lunch. has a nice cocoa finish to it too, like you're drinking. That's like you're drinking a carbonated hot cocoa. Almost only this is, you know, about a little bit under room temperature. There are two things I get out of this beer, like toasted barley and cocoa. So a lot of cocoa. The, I mean, the name's telling the, it's telling the truth. It's, it's telling. very creamy. It has a very, it has like a milk quality to it. It has like a sweet milk quality yeah, to it. Yeah, it does. It. I mean, this is chocolate. probably considered a milk stout. Yeah. It's very milky. I mean, I mean you, didn't tell about you know, typically a lot of stouts, a lot of pours have a dark chocolate note. This is definitely a milk chocolate note. If you want to taste a beer that tastes like milk chocolate, look no further. Milk chocolate. Wow. This is rather expensive. It's about $3 a bottle, but you, you do little, get what you pay for. A little here. pricey there. You get what you pay for. Two eighty nine, no eleven cents. That's a bargain. For sure. Right, here no, you no, go. Let me take a swig. What do you taste? Good. Welcome to Willy Wonka's oh, well, Chocolate Factory. Very good. Oh well. Mm, it's chocolate. I like that. I really enjoy that. That's very good. It's not really pro- appropriate weather for something like this. Mm-hmm. Anyway, when I'm drinking it. I mean, it's nice on a rainy day. Well, I'm drinking Fort Bragg. It wasn't the weather for it either, but I still enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's really good. That is really good. I really enjoyed that. Your nanas, your nanas craze here. This yeah. is a, this is a solid one. Mm. Yeah, I really like that. It's all, all chocolate. Wow, that's all chocolate. Yeah, I don't know what to say except it's good. It's probably the best chocolate beer yeah. I've had. Yeah, that was really nice. Both some of the other chocolate beers I've had um, in the water. I the on the history of um, on of Sam Smith's, like I think you probably know a little bit. Pretty much, the guy got together with like people and said, "Now here's a beer recipe. It's a few hundred years old. This is what they're drinking back then. Why don't we try it out?" Well, that's referring to the oatmeal stout. Their oatmeal stout. Yeah. This one it says right here, I believe. This brewery is actually created with reviving the uh, modern oatmeal stout. The recipe was all but gone until they revived it, so that's worth noting. Uh, I really like that. And so that this recipe is from 1758. Yeah, I do know that Samuel Smith is credited with reviving the oatmeal stout because the recipe is pretty much extinct. Wow, is this really actually neat. considered an oatmeal stout? I don't think it is. I don't believe so. It doesn't really mention anything about oatmeal being added in with mash. Yes, they know yes. their stouts. I don't know if you've got the oatmeal stout, but it's also really good. We'll definitely do a future review of that. That is fantastic. All right, guys. Well. Let's go ahead and get a, a little uh, around the room count. So much chocolate. I mean, that's that, how many calories is in this? I thought I was thinking. That's what I was thinking the <laughs> yeah, whole time. I, don't I was think like, it's going to be that high though. It's only five percent alcohol. Never know. The bottle's a little bit smaller, I think, than what we're used to. I mean, look, it's very thin. Maybe it's one point two, maybe. That's full for now. Full now, just a strange shape. Bottle. Just a strange shape. All right, so what's the rating? Oh, this could be a nine for me. Nine, yeah. Nine, nine, yeah, for me too. Nine right around the board, easily. Because, I mean, it was good. It was very nice. I don't know. It, it, it's name. You get, you get what you pay for. It's a, a chocolate stout. It's very chocolatey. It tastes like a stout. It smells great. looks good. Yeah. No bait and switch. It is what it says. Yeah, yeah for I've sure. i had some beers that claim to be chocolate. And, uh, you know. No, yeah, that one's got the real deal. It's got the nice cocoa aftertaste and yeah, everything. Yeah, this is a big The last chocolate beer I had, which was Samuel Adams Cherry Chocolate Bock, which tasted like Count Chocula. <laughs> well, c- compare it. I know we haven't reviewed the chocolate Bock from a Samuel Adams, but... How does it stack up? Well, it's a different style, Bach versus Stout, but this is way more chocolate. Way more chocolate? Way more chocolate. I mean, I don't know. The very perverse part of me wants to give it to someone on Valentine's Day. 
Hey, that's a good gift for for, for, get, for dudes. If you're gonna give chocolate to a dude, just give him that. <laughs> yeah, you got the romance. You yeah, know, yeah. That was better than going out on the in the bar and drinking some chocolate style, eating a pizza. Yeah, that's my ideal date. Oh yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's another Doge House reviews. Come back for more.